Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be going through my entire desk setup for A-Levels, including the mantra I use, the lights I have, just everything that you guys have wanted to see over the last few weeks. And yeah, I'll try and link down all the products in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into it. So for each category, I'll go through everything separately and include timestamps in the description below, just so you guys can get a feel for everything that I use in this desk setup. So the first thing I'll be talking about is the desk. The desk itself I got from Amazon and as you guys have seen in some of my videos, it is an L-shaped desk but what I did is I couldn't really find anyone that would fit my room that was just like pre-made. So instead I got two desks off Amazon, both from the same brand. I'll put a picture up now and also linked in the description in case you want to see. But yeah, I got two of those desks and fitted them into my room, measured and made myself like a my own L-shaped desk essentially. And it's super useful. I have so much space and that was always a big factor for me. So next up is the chair. So the chair that I'm currently sitting on is a standard ergonomic chair from Argos. I used to sit on like a really bad Ikea wooden type chair for two years and that absolutely ruined my back. So this has been a such a big upgrade for like these last two years. When I was redoing my desk setup and everything, one of the biggest upgrades that I made was definitely this chair. And I'd say having a good chair is probably one of the most vital things in a good desk setup. Just allows you to sit and relax and do stuff for longer instead of having to like sit and then shuffle around and fidget. And I can get like about three, four hours worth of work done just sitting on this chair. Super comfy, super easy to like sit on. So the next thing, the thing that you guys have probably been waiting for is the monitor. What monitor do I use? And for a long time, I honestly never used a monitor. I just used my iPad as my main setup. But for this past few months, I've been able to use the monitor as part of an iPad, as part like of an extended display workflow thing that I really love using because it's so much easier to get work done. Like I did not know how I live without this. So the monitor I have is the Samsung Smart Monitor. It's the M7 models and it's a super amazing monitor. I can vouch for it for hours. It has TV capabilities, so you can watch live TV, you can watch Netflix, YouTube on it, you can, so I have my Nintendo Switch up here, and you can play that, or the Xbox on it, you can also control your actual, like, PC or iPad or whatever. Yeah, I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for a new monitor. It gets the job done, and also is cheap for the amount of features it has. It was only about, like, 250, maybe around 300 pounds. One of the things I did discover about it, like, only, I think, a few, a month ago at this point now, is that it can connect to my iPad. I tried this before, but it never really worked. I thought you needed just a MacBook or a PC with it. And it makes for such a good workflow. Like I cannot tell you how much this has helped me. So I get so much work done when there's two screens as opposed to one. And the extended display part of it is probably one of its best features. And I highly, highly recommend. I know I've said it a lot, but highly, highly recommend in case you guys are looking for a new monitor. Okay, so my main daily driver for the last two and a half, maybe something years now has been the the iPad Pro 12.9 inch fifth generation. And a lot of people have this debate that the iPad can't really be a good computer. And I agree, some of the functions, like if you want to code and stuff, it's not really the best device. But for everything that I've been doing for the last two and a half years, I can do everything on this iPad. Like I've not had a day where I've felt Oh, I really wish I had a laptop. I can edit on this iPad. I do it on LumaFusion. I watch videos on it and just do general work on it, make flashcards, do all sorts of stuff. So before I had the iPad Pro, I did have, let me try and find it. Okay, so I did have before the iPad Pro this iPad. It's really small and it was the iPad 6th generation. So I used to get all my work done just off this with no extended display and everything. So let's just say the iPad Pro was such a big upgrade. So yeah, that is my main like daily driver behind the whole setup. I have my iPad connected to the M7 monitor. And then as part of that, I just use like a standard USB-C to C cable and connect it as an extended display. So another part of my desk setup that is pretty underrated that a lot of people don't include in theirs is my printer. I've been using my printer for the last year or something, maybe three years. I don't honestly remember at this point. I've just used it for so long. And before this printer, I didn't really have any way of printing out in color. So I highly recommend if you guys are looking for a cheap printer that prints out in color and it's like super easy to like refill, refill and everything. The printer I use is the Epson EcoTank 4750. And yeah, it's just a super good printer. The inks are really readily available. You can order them online and everything. They don't run out as fast as I thought it would. And the ink levels stay high for a while. So it's honestly so amazing. You can air print with it, which is what I do with my iPad. And I'll show you an example of how it works now. But yeah, it's such a good part of my desk setup. And I thought I'd include it because it is an underrated part, but something I use almost day to day at this point. 
So the next part of my desktop setup that is one of the most vital things in my opinion is lighting. Lighting is how I create mood and like get down to work and honestly feel more productive. Cause you guys know if you turn the big light on it just doesn't hit the same as like these all these mini lights. So you can tell right now I have like semi broken LEDs up there. So including LEDs I also have this overhead light here. So you can see I just turned it off right now. And it's above my uh, like monitor and it's just a like standard monitor light I think it's called. Uh, yeah, and then I also have this other like light over there that I use as just like a standard thing to brighten up the room So honestly, I hardly turn on the big light at this point Most of the time it's just me my LEDs and like these other two lights mood lighting is just such a good way of upgrading your desk setup Like it's so easy to install you can buy a lamp and literally plug it in and already your desk will look way nicer Way cleaner and the setup will look nicer when you're using the lamp instead of the big light. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the worst part of my desk setup and something I hide from everyone, but I'm gonna show you guys because you deserve to see how messy it is. And if you haven't guessed already, it's cables. So my cable management is atrocious. I've tried to clean it up over the years, but I just can't because I always keep moving the cables and I need to like unplug them a lot. And just putting them in like managing them is just a lot of effort that I need to get around to. But I've only really strategically hidden it just to make sure that people can't see it when they come in the room because if you were able to see like down below all the time, you would notice how bad it is. Okay, coming to the final two parts of my desk setup, I'd say these are probably my favorite parts of the entire desk, and that's saying a lot apart from the monitor and iPad and everything, and that is the accessories and extras that I put up. All these things like kind of really add to your room and make it your own. One of the things that I really plan on doing within the next year is like decorating this part of the room, because in the videos, it always seems really plain compared to the wall up here, which I'll show you if you haven't seen already. But I'll show you some examples of stuff I include as accessories to like decorate it and make the room a bit nicer. Okay, I'm literally getting dysmorphia looking myself with the beard, but I'll show you some of the accessories that I have on my desk. So one of the things that I have is this fake potted plant thing from Ikea. I, you've probably seen on all those really aesthetic desk setups and mine is definitely by far not one of the more aesthetic ones. But I just really like the idea of having it and it kind of added stuff to my room because other without it, it looks really bare. So I have another potted plant from the same collection. I have this bigger like hanging plant. This I saw all over Pinterest. So I went to Ikea and got it. And yeah, I literally just think all sorts of plants. If you can take care of real plants, like unlike me, which I'm so bad at, then props to you because those look way nice in a room. But if not, fake plants are always an option and they just add character to your room. So the last part of the desk setup that I put a lot, a lot of effort in was the poster wall. So I've seen so many nice poster walls on Pinterest and it was one of my bigger inspirations again, because the wall back here looks so plain. It was worse when it was like behind my desk and everything. So I decided to add some posters and stuff that would help me just re revise like periodic tables just to make it again more personable and more me. Uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed my desk setup. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. That would massively help the channel and I really, really hope you guys did enjoy it because it is a bit different from my content normally. And next week I will be posting a long, like highly requested vlog and Hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. And apart from that, I'll see you all next week with a brand new video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and check out this video all about study tips that like you do not want to miss. So check out that video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.